The purpose of this video is to help guide you through the steps of deploying the new DMP Cellcom SL on an existing 12 volt DC dialer control panel. Cellcom SL Universal Cellular Alarm Communicators capture and convert contact ID dialer signals to DMP format for central station reporting over a CDMA cellular network. In order for the Cellcom SL to capture and convert contact ID on a host panel, the host panel must be programmed for four-digit ADEMCO contact ID reporting. Mount the communicator away from metal objects in a secure dry place. Do not mount inside or on a control panel metal enclosure. Using 18 to 22 gauge wire, connect the plus 12 volt and ground terminals of the Cellcom SL to the host panel's auxiliary power terminals. Make sure to perform a battery calculation to ensure that the Cellcom SL, along with existing connected devices, do not exceed the panel's rated output. Identify the telco connection on the host alarm panel. Directly connect the T and R terminals on the Cellcom SL's terminal strip to the host panel's incoming tip and ring. Connect the Cellcom SL system battery to the J26 battery header located above the tamper switch. Using a DMP Model 330 programming cable, connect a DMP alphanumeric keypad to the J8 programming header in the lower left corner of the communicator. To activate the Cellcom SL, enter the MEID in remote link and choose the RAID plan. Next, enter into Diagnostics by entering 2313 on the keypad. Navigate to Activate Cell and press any top row select key. When the Sure No Yes prompt appears, press the select key beneath Yes to complete the cellular activation. In order to test the cellular signal strength from the Diagnostics menu, access the Cell Signal menu option and press the top row select key to display cell signal strength. The keypad activation process requires that the communicator must be in contact with a Verizon-owned tower. In the event you are not in contact with a Verizon-owned tower, Rome will display on the keypad. To enter the Cellcom SL programmer, press the reset button, then from the programming keypad connected, enter code 6653, navigate using command to communication. Press the top row select key to enter into communication. The first option is account number. The account number that is programmed into the Cellcom SL will be what is communicated to the receiver. Navigate to Receiver 1 Programming, changing other options as needed. At Receiver 1 Programming, change the options for the receiver that the Cellcom SL attempts to contact when sending reports. It is necessary to enter the first IP address, the IP address of the receiver, in order for the communicator to send cell messages. Navigate to stop, changing other options as needed. Select the top row select key to exit the programmer function of the communicator and to save all programming changes. To test the unit, make the host panel send alarm, trouble, or open close signals. Verify signals have been sent to the central station. You have successfully deployed the new DMP Cellcom SL on an existing 12-volt DC dialer panel. Documentation on this application and other available applications for the Cellcom SL Universal Cellular Alarm Communicator can be found at dmp.com.